Well, hey guys, what is going on out there today? It is Brad Abel here, webtennis.com. Another, <laughs> another episode of What is the Right Shot? Obviously, singles point today. Yours truly in the forecourt, about to play a backhand, and uh, I'm going to... I'm going to restart the point, take it from the top, and I'm going to pause it again here and then ask you, what shot would you play in this situation? And um, remember, what's the right shot? It's based on two premises, right? Number one, shot choice. Where do you want the ball to land over there? And then number two, where do you want to move to next on the court? So I'm going to back it up from the very top of the point. And here it is right here. And... Um, <clears throat> My opponent uh, frequently on a second serve will throw in a drop shot return to serve. So in anticipation of that, I'm always thinking, hey, you know, I got to be looking for it. And that's the reason that I come in behind, not come in, but it's certainly not serve and stay back, right? It's certainly, as we've talked about before, this is serve and stay in to be able to defend against a potential drop shot, return to serve off of my second serve. And my initial reaction is that's what is happening. And then all of a sudden I see, whoa, this thing's a little bit deeper. Now, maybe that was the intention by my opponent was to kind of fake me into thinking it's going to be a drop shot return and then kind of give it a little extra juice and make it land deeper, right? I don't know. I, I, I obviously didn't ask him at the end of this point. Um, however, I want to ask you right here. Okay, you now know that he is, what, three feet, four feet inside the baseline over there. I know that too. I don't, I mean, I'm looking at the ball, obviously, but my peripheral and my senses are is that he's moved in. He's not played this shot and moved back. He's in. So what I want you to do is I want you to tell me, what shot would you play in this situation? Would you top it cross court? Would you top it up the line? Would you top it maybe at his feet and then look for something uh, something else? Would you go slider with this underspin, slice, drive up the line to his feet, cross court? I don't think anyone's going to say, well, you got to play a drop shot here because the guy's in so close. That would just make no sense. But let me know on those two premises of what's the right shot. What shot would you play? What kind of shot would you play? Where's it going to land over there? And where do you want to be thinking about moving to next as you execute that shot? Pause the video right now. Go on down to the comments area and let me know. And once you're done with that, then come on back. Well, all right, you are back. Let's take this from the top. And... Um, I'm going to play this. I'm going to tell you actually from the second serve here. We don't need to go through the miss first serve. Um, and so let's take it real time to that spot where I stopped it before. And it is right about, yeah, right about there. Okay. So for me, I'm really comfortable with uh, this slice backhand. I just feel like with a topspin backhand, the geometry from this part of the court is not great. And you really got to be precise with the top on this. And for me, I just feel like I can under, I can under, I can underspin it. <laughs> underspin, slice, right. I was going to say underhand. No. Um, and so for me, I just feel like an up the line and then looking up. And if he's going to be anticipating that, right? I mean, this this guy and I played a lot. He knows my game. And so he could be anticipating and guessing that I'm going to play an up the line, an up the line, underspin, drive, backhand, and be over there. So when I look up, I'm, I'm sort of guessing, guessing, I'm anticipating that maybe that's what he's anticipating. So I am ready to recover to the other side if that if that is needed. In this case, it's not, right? And just remember that every time we play a shot here, it's got to be a two-shot mindset, right? So you're going to come into this. You're going to come into this shot thinking, okay, I'm going up the line, and I'm assuming that he's going to get it. I'm assuming he's going to touch it. That's okay. 
and we'll just be ready to take we'll just be ready to take it from there and not worry about it. I think too often what players do if they're going up the line here, they're really thinking, I got to man, I just got to really get this thing right there on the line. It slides wide, right? And I used to be thinking too much, too close to the line. Got some great advice this year from Dave Sievertson, um, good friend of mine, great player, heck of a coach. He just said, take the sideline out of it. Meaning, if you're going to play this, don't think of a winner result. Think of, okay, we're going to play it well inside the sideline. And if he guesses right and gets there, I mean, he's not going to have much of a play on it, right? So let me give you one little swing tech cue on this so that when you go over there and play this up the line, you don't get you don't get um, too much to where, and I see this a lot, where, where a lot of players play the underspin backhand, even if it's not from here, even if it's back from the baseline. And the swing path is so severe in terms of high to low that that makes the ball just go and sit up over there rather than slide through that bounce. And so what I want you to be thinking about is this. Is, your, is, is the underspin is really created more from the open racket face that you create in your setup here. Obviously, this racket face is wide open, and that's created from the grip, from a continental grip. And once you get that grip, that naturally opens up the face, and from here, you can swing forward. You don't have to go severely high to low. And when you do that, you're going to get a ball that skids, that slides through the bounce over there. So let's take this thing from the top. I'll play it in real time for you. I hope that this does not showing up. Might be. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to your questions. Any comments down below when we're done with the video, let me know what's on your mind. And uh, so here we go. And real time, here it is. And it's it's just a really firm swing, right? We're not, we're not rushing to get ready for the next shot. We're not worried about that. you got to finish the stroke on your time, and, uh, and you'll be good. So, like I said before, guys, any questions, any comments down below, let me know. And as always, come on now. We have to get out there today. we got to help someone else have a great day. Guys, see you again next time.